we're gonna go over how you can master the clean and jerk technique. And we're gonna use the technical model of Kuo Jin Chun, and we're gonna start right now. So first let's talk about Kuo. I believe she is one of the greatest female weightlifters of all time. I also believe she might have the greatest technique of all time, if not top two or three out of all technicians. So when we're talking about Kuo's technique, we've got to reflect back on her career. She won her first world title in 2013 and then went all the way till 2022 where she won her last world title. Now she, this past year, she got second at world championships in Colombia. She's the Olympic champion from 2021 in Tokyo and she is the Olympic bronze medalist in 2016. She is arguably one of the longest dominating forces in women's weightlifting and I believe she was also the first female to beat Deng Wei in competition back in 2013. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze her performance from the 2019 World Championships in Pattaya, Thailand, look at her technique and teach you guys how you can apply that to your training. So let's dive into this crazy performance. Okay, so Quo comes out on the platform. Get set. I was at this world championship, so actually I got a picture with her here. Got to see her in training as well. She always has a slightly soft right elbow. Actually, at her first world championships in 2013, when she beat Deng Wei, she got away with, I think, was a pretty substantial uh, press out on the right elbow there. Coach Lin's excited. He's pretty happy. Um, <laughs> so what I wanted to do is look at this from the side angle here, okay, and, and really try and break down what's happening with her technique, what's she doing, so that you guys can look at those key factors and practice that in your training and think about and visualize that technique. So there's six key points that I look at in the clean and jerk, and that first one is going to be from the floor to the knee. What is happening, okay? So we want to look at Quo, and we want to see what is she doing right off the floor, okay? So floor to the knee, right there is where she's at her knee point, okay? Notice how tight her back is. Chest is over the bar, but the biggest thing is what is she doing off the floor, okay? So the chest comes forward a little bit and the hips come up a little, right? But the main thing here is that she loads those knees come back, okay? So we see the knees pushing back off the floor. As she gets to right about the kneecap, that's when the chest starts to come up. So first, the hips come up and the chest comes up, but then right when the bar gets to the kneecap, that's when the chest starts to come back up a little bit quicker than the hips. So the big thing is the knees, what I would say that step one, floor to the knee, push your knees back off the floor. Okay, so knees back off the floor. That second key factor is what I refer to as no man's land. And this is where I think almost all lifts are lost from right below the kneecap to right above what I refer to as the reciprocation point. The reciprocation point is when the knees start to come under the bar. So if the knees stay back too long, there tends to be a gap through no man's land, which again is below the knee to right above the knee. And if there's a large gap, it ends up causing some serious problems. The bar might be really far forward, the lifter might get on their toes early, and a whole bunch of different things can, can factor into a missed lift here. So if we look at no man's land from right this, at this point here for Quo, okay, right there, and then we look at what happens to right here, that's when her knees start to come under the bar. So right here, she's still flat-footed. Upright with that chest, okay, arms almost entirely locked out, maybe a very, very slight arm bend, and that's perfectly fine, okay? So now, so from below the knee, so no man's land, below the knee to right above the knee, knees start to come through to keep that bar tight to the quad, okay? So now, I wanna look at the third key point, and that's going to be the reciprocation point right here into her contact point. So reciprocation point to hip. So we're starting, floor to knee, that's point one. Uh, no man's land, point two. Reciprocation point to hip, point three. Okay, so from right here to where she makes contact, okay? As she makes contact right here, you can see that singlet starting to come up a little bit on that left side, she's starting to make contact. Now look at her heels. She is still flat, okay? Chest is still upright over the bar. Hips are coming through, okay? So she's starting to extend those hips. But the big thing that I see is that those heels are still flat. So that's what we wanna see is that as the chest comes up and the hips come through and the knees come forward, 
we want to sit on that heel, okay, to bring that chest upright. That's what Quo's doing here with 140 kilos. Now, the next position, so floor to knee, then we look at no man's land, then we look at reciprocation points to the hip. Now we're looking at hip to the catch. So we're going off of this hip, she extends right there, okay, full extension. You can see knees locked out, plantar flexed, hips are through. Hips are through, knees are locked out, she's plantar flexed here. Now we want to see what she's doing with her upper body. Elbows start to come back. And you can really see it right here. Elbows are bending back. So she's got this elbows coming back and what that does is it keeps it, and you can see how upright her chest is even on that finish, keeps it very, very tight to the chest. This reminds me, this is how Haley finishes her cleans. Okay, so she gets that nice upright posture in the catch. And you can see here, the bar's slightly forward. Now this is 140 kilos. I believe it was a world record that, at that point. You can look at her knees. So she's got crazy dorsiflexion, which is the mobility that you need here in that catch. And then you can see as she bounces, right? She comes back a little bit more. So the knees are really, really far forward here, right? Which tells us it's a hair forward. So maybe she could have been a little bit tighter around the knee but it's 140 kilos, so it's okay. And then you can see she loses that a little bit as she sinks those hips back to catch that stretch shortening cycle out of the bottom position. The crazy part is that that upright trunk, her elbows barely drop at all. So you need a lot of that upright trunk work to be able to handle that catch. So we're looking at, again, hip to the catch. That's position four. She's gonna stand that up nice and upright. Now, position five, we're gonna look at the dip and the drive. Okay, dip and the drive of position is position five. That's a nice rhyme that we just got there. Okay, so now we're gonna change that video angle. And I love seeing this because you can sort of zoom in a little bit more and you're gonna see on this, I've watched this lift quite a bit, um, a little bit of, a, of an unbuckling in her abs at the bottom of the dip here, right there. You can sort of see her hips. I'm gonna show this again here. So we start up top. She's dipping very, very upright, maybe a hair forward, maybe just a hair forward, but that posture is very similar to what she did out of the bottom. Okay, she's still on the heels. Okay, I wanna see, and you can see that dorsiflexion is very similar to where she caught the clean. I wanna look at when do those heels pop? Okay, so for, for Quo, those heels sort of come up right here, right after this position at the top as she extends the knees. That's where you're gonna see those heels extend. So she has knee extension, hip extension, plantar flexion. Now that bar is gonna come up. What I wanna show you in this dip, we go back and again, she is the absolute, I think greatest of all time technique wise. If we look, I'm gonna zoom in here. If we look closely, right there, her hips come forward, her hips sort of sink under, right from here to here, you can see a little belt change right there. Watch the belt, just sinks a little bit forward. There's like a very, very, very slight collapse. And what I think that does, I'm not saying that this, we want to avoid that. So with clean technique, in the dip, or the jerk technique, we wanna stay as upright as we possibly can so that that doesn't happen. Because what I think ends up occurring is it's a little bit forward in the split. And the split in recovery is really position six. Now, one thing I wanna point out with Quo, you can see because of that little bit of a dip, that little collapse in her dip, there's a little bit more weight on her front foot here. She has great mobility in that back ankle. Her knee is down, heads through. It's a little bit forward, just a little bit, but her shoulders are also extraordinarily strong in the recovery. She's still able to recover with that front foot first, and then she does take that back step a little bit longer than her front step to get past the front foot. And I think that that back foot, having a bigger back foot recovery there is caused from that little bit of a collapse in the dip. Okay, so let's go back over all the six of these points real quickly, because remember, it's floor to the knee, so the knees come back, okay? Floor to the knee, knees back. Around no man's land, okay? No man's land is below the knee, above the knee. Stay flat-footed, stay flat-footed. My cue here would be stay flat-footed, bring your chest up. Stay flat-footed, bring your chest up through no man's land. Reciprocation point right here into the hip. Stay flat-footed, stay flat-footed until you make contact. Stay flat-footed until you make contact. Then the next position that we're gonna look at would be from the hip into the catch. Okay, hip into the catch, slide those feet to a flat foot, 
Okay, slide your feet to a flat foot. Don't jump all over the place. Notice her feet just slide. Slide your feet to a flat foot, elbows back to keep the bar tight. Wrap those elbows fast. From the hip to the catch now, she stands up nice and tight. Now we're getting into the dip and the drive. Dip and drive as upright as possible. Stay on the flat foot. Stay on the flat foot as upright as possible. Then in the split, we want that back knee down, the heel up, back knee down, heel up. And for recovery, we want to recover with that front foot first. So these are all those key factors that Quo used so that she could solidify herself, win the 2019 World Championships, and then go on to win the Olympic gold in Tokyo. And those are those key principles that you can use in each specific position. If you guys need help with your overall weightlifting, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up a weightlifting program today to help you hit those huge PRs. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.